Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah, what's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. So it's up to you. You gonna play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Great, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Actually, sneaky bastards. Their turf is the libelous. Very observant, Jimmy boy. And last but not least, come on, let's go. Go on, Petey. Go cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to you. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? Oh, you're so cutting. I'm really upset. Actually, I think I'm gonna go cry. Then I'd be just like you. Cry, little girl. Oh, look out. <laughs> Here comes Jimmy. Just knock it off, Gary. You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out in the girls' dorm. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interesting yourself, friend. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, both of you. I apologize, okay? I just get a little overexcited. Forgive me. Forget it. It's cool. Anyway, I've got a good idea for some fun. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. That homeless guy. <laughs> come on. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. Where is this dirty old perv? You know, you're not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. Get out of here, you little oh. scum! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does live on Shut campus. Up. You jerk! Ow! Let's leave this guy to his welfare payments. Come on, let's get out of here. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Get out! Stop, <laughs> Gary. <laughs> Trying to watch this. Ah, swim team. Intellectual stuff. So tell me, Petey, do you Come like on. watching the girls in their swimming costumes? Does get, that fuel I, your filthy little fantasies? Gary, just get out of the way. Oh, Marion, show me your breaststroke again. Or wait, do you like the boys on the team? Yeah, right, Gary. Which is it, Petey? I see you guys are getting along as usual. I'm just toughening Ow. him up. Ow. Turning him into a man or a woman or something. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, P. Oh, P. Stain. Good to see you. Listen, Jimmy, I need a favor. Bucky went to the auto shop to get some parts for his science projects. He hasn't come back yet. I think he might be in trouble. Please. Okay, I'm frightened. And I've got a weak bladder. Oh, I think the bullies might have gotten him. Please, I'll pay. I say do it. It's a good chance to show Russell who's in charge around here. Now run along, Ow! Peace Stain, before you mark the carpet. Yes. We've got to take care of Russell and his boys. Then, after that, take care of all the other cliques. 
Soon, this school will be ours. I don't want the school. Yeah, well, I do, pal, and I intend to get it. Now go help that door. And what are you gonna do? I've got planning to do. Knock it off. <laughs> Sorry. Boop. Stop. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, what's going on? Not much. I was just lying here wishing I could be more like you. Yeah, whatever. But I'm cursed. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, cursed by brains. Do you know what torture it is to be thinking all the time? No, of course you don't. Yeah, you're cursed. You're great. Whatever. What else is going on? Not much. Let me see. Uh, it's Halloween. All the prefects are at some party and the teachers are entertaining, I use that word loosely, the kids. No, I'd say the opportunities for fun are pretty much nil. What do you have in mind? Come on, you'll see. Okay, here's the deal. We're gonna feed Chad's dog some of this rancid meat. Wait for him to take a dump and then... What the hell? I'm out of here. Whatever, Pete. Okay, let's do this, Jim. I'll explain the rest later. Here you go, boy. How about a little trick for a treat? Yum, 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 yum. That's gross. There you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm, uh, we are gonna take over the school. We are not taking over anything right now. Time and tide wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me, look, now come on. I promise you, after this, things are never gonna be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. So, Jimmy boy, here we are, the hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell. No, Russell. Go beat that... What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. You happy now, jerk? Ecstatic. I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. What? <laughs> Friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school. And you're just a liability. See you around, moron. Don't lie, Jimmy. You said Tad was probably a hermaphrodite with that much inbreeding. A hermaphro what? Don't act dumb. You said his mom was also legally his aunt, and that he probably had webbed toes. I don't. Well, just only on one foot. Tad, you're not gonna take that kind of crap from this scumbag, are you? You've... You... You've been rude about mommy. Let her. James, I've been waiting. Let the games begin. Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects! Me! I won! You are sad, man! I might be sad, but I've won your world, moron! And don't you forget it! You did 
all my dirty work for me, Hopkins. You're like a puppet, only dumber. Whatever, let's finish this. And you're just another punk. You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy. Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can. Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great. But I never did anything to you. You would have if I'd given you the chance. Face it, I'm smarter than you. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> You're smarter than me. You hate everyone, and everyone hates you. Genius! The head likes me. I tied him up, turned his dumb school into a battleground, got kids expelled unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> no! Smith! I heard the whole thing. You're expelled. Come and untie me, boy. <sighs> Sorry, didn't see you there. Yes, a little rough around the edges. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. This monstrous little wretch, was it? Yep. <sighs> what? Uh-huh. Well, no. To be honest, sir, 